Welcome to the channel. Today's episode is part three of this Global MX-5 Cup Car Repair. We still have a lot of work to do on this car, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. Come on. We gotta get this suspension put back in that cradle. And then put back under the front of this car so we can make it a roller and get it off the frame machine. All right, so these are the cam bolts that go on the bottom of the lower control arm, that hold the lower control arm on. This is the rear one, and it has cams, basically just lobes on the washer. The washer's not centered of the bolt, or the bolt's not centered of the washer. So what that does is when you turn it, it'll push the control arm in or out to help give you some adjustment for alignment. Now, when you take this apart, this washer comes off, and it's, it's definitely got a larger end and a smaller end and that one's actually fixed to the bolt so when you're putting these back together two things you want to keep in mind these little marks here these hash marks they need to be on the outside so you can see as a reference point to where you are and you need to make sure that the cam is lined up now there's little notches and little grooves in the bolt so you can put it on the correct way but you also can do it 180 degrees out and put it on the wrong way if you put this washer on backwards like that, you have no adjustment. It will not turn and it will not allow you to do alignment. So whenever you're putting it on, make sure you put the lobes, the high sides on the same side, bolts it together, and the hash marks on the outside to give you a reference point. And the way these, these are different, this one has a little bit smaller of a washer and it has little notches here. This one goes on the front. This one goes on the rear, and what I mean front, front of the vehicle. This is be considered the front bolt, and the one in the back is the back bolt for the lower control arm. You can see how this cam bolt here pushes the lower control arm out, or lets it come in. This is how they get alignment on these cars. Now I'm gonna set it in the middle because uh, basically they do all the race setup. All I wanna do is make this thing roll straight. So when I'm bolting up all the suspension on these cars, I'm not torquing them to spec. I'm basically just snugging everything up because it's all gotta come back out at the race shop and when they put it back together, they can torque everything to spec. All right, so we got the suspension on the car. The next thing I wanna do is get these bumpers prepped with the bumper system. And the first step in that is to get them wiped down with the super prep.
So the bottom of this bumper is textured and it stays black, so I've got it taped off. And I, there's a certain way I tape it off that makes it a little bit easier to untape. So as you can see, I've got the paper on and I've got this tape on the outside. So I put the paper with the tape on as a, as a rough line and just get it taped down. And then I come back with this tape and follow the line where it needs to be followed. You can't really see it, but there's a, there's a line there it's supposed to follow. And the reason why I do that is because you can reach under here and I'll make a little tab. You can pull this off after you paint it while it's still wet and it'll make that edge a lot, a lot cleaner and nicer. The bumpers are all wiped down with the super prep, so the next step is to spray on this white bumper system primer. All right, so we got the primer on the bumpers, and while the primer's drying, we're gonna go ahead and sand this hood and both of the fenders, and we'll go ahead and set the hood on a flip stand. That way we can jam it out and paint it at the same time. All right, so the bumper system's dry on the bumpers. All the parts are sanded, the hood set up on a flip stand. So let's get this stuff loaded up in the booth so we can start getting it painted. Parts are in the booth, they're all sanded and wiped down. It's time to get my paint suit on. All right, paint suit is on. We've got the sealer mixed up and it's in the gun. Let's go put on one coat of white sealer.
All right, so we've given this sealer a 15 minute flash time. We've got the single stage mixed up in the gun and we're gonna be applying two coats of this single stage on these parts. Come on in the booth, let me show you how I do that. All right, so we got the last coat of single stage sprayed on there. Let's go pull that tape off the rear bumper and walk around and look at the parts and make sure they look good before we clean out our paint gun. No complaints here. These parts look really good to me. We're gonna get the paint gun cleaned out. I'm gonna get my paint suit taken off and I'm gonna head to the house. The other morning I was standing on the bathroom scale sucking my stomach in and the wife walked by just busted out laughed, said that don't help. I said it does if you won't see the numbers. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be about it for this video. I hope you're enjoying this Global MX-5 Cup Car Series. If you are, like this video, share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click on that bell notification, that way you'll be notified when the next video comes out. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave it in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya!